What's going on, folks? Life Lessons with Juvie. I am your host, as always, unless it's your first time. Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on all social media except Facebook. At Juvie the Kid, J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. All right, let's get into the topics. J. Coulter Artist. All right, as our last night in Montreal is hotel-bound because of mobile protest squads and riot police cruising around, holy fuck, uh, we're discussing whether or not it's actually worth protesting and rioting outside of the U.S. Uh, like the message being made by the protesters versus the violence and destruction that generally follows. Would like to hear what you think. My bad for fucking that up. Um, I don't know. It doesn't... Okay, violence isn't going to help anything. Especially, like, from a bunch of college kids, like, in Canada. You know what I mean? Because that's who, like, mostly is, like, marching around and protesting. His fucking college kids and university students and whatever. Um, the vi Like, violence and everything like that, it's not going to solve anything. It's not going to make anything better. Um, I think, in a way, if the, if, if the protests are done, pro like, properly, and it's not, like, a hostile thing then in a way it can all it can send a message to like americans that might be like thinking like well canadians don't really give a fuck like this isn't their problem they're going to see that and like see like oh okay like like they're affected by this too like they didn't like this decision either um admittedly though a lot of canadians for some reason get our government and politics like confused with the states like they think like their election is ours and like their government is ours in a way um and that's just fucking stupid i hate i i can't stand it when people do that honestly um i'm sure like there are some effects like from their government to our government but like to just abandon and forget like you're canadian and our government and just go always on about the states like remember where you're at you know what i mean <laughs> um but yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to do. Uh, at the same time, like, people have been saying, like, there's been, like, riots going on. I haven't seen any, like, riots. I've seen a lot of people marching through the streets saying, fuck Donald Trump, and burning, like, little American flags. Uh, I haven't seen any people getting beat up, storefronts getting smashed, anything like that. Uh, so, I don't, I don't think that's going to be a factor in any of this, because people are going to probably like people like people understand nowadays that the whole fucking like system or logic behind we're gonna elect one person to run this whole fucking like nation of millions of millions of people is a little fucking silly and outdated honestly like and who really is a fit for the job like to be like a fit for the job you have to kind of like fall in the middle a lot of the time in my opinion anyway or be able to see it from both sides have like a calm conversation or like a debate with somebody in private about it so you can come up to it with a solution uh it's always you know this person from this side and this person from this side so really like the whole being president thing doesn't it doesn't work because you're liter you're just picking which team you're go like is going to run the country for a bit. You know what I mean? Um I don't know. It's kind of dumb to me. Uh but yeah, the whole protesting and uh whatever outside of the states it can send a message that I get, that like, you know, uh we're not happy about the outcome either. Uh some people might be fearful as to what this means for Canada and the U.S. like relationships, uh, but we gotta wait and see. You know what I mean? Like nobody knows what the future is. For all we know, fucking in two months he could have a heart attack and die. Like I'm not saying that's gonna. Ha I'm just it could happen. The dude's pretty old too, so you know what I mean. Uh, and a lot of people don't understand how much stress that president like job is look at obama like when he first got elected to like now like you can see the like stress on the man's face but um yeah i, I think it could like the protests or whatever can send a message i think calling them riots is a little aggressive because 
It's not like it's not like a hostile. Well, in a way, it's hostile, but like n like there's no violence as far as I've seen though. Like I might be wrong about that, um, but yeah, it can send a message that at least like you know we we're not happy about it and everything like that. So, but. I don't know. At the same time, marching through streets saying "fuck Donald Trump" doesn't really come off very professional or mature, and you're probably not going to get taken as seriously as you want either. So, that's something to think about. Kalonji underscore that mofo. Why does beer taste better after a long day of work or a BS election or after you wash your car or pretty much any time, but not after orange juice or brushing your teeth? Uh, cause the tastes just don't go as well, like as great, you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know. It's like a reward system too. Like if your reward system is like after a long day of work or a stress reliever, you crack open a cold beer, it's always going to like make you feel a little bit better about the world. But, uh, after brushing your teeth, I'm sure fucking mint and beer doesn't go that great. So it's going to taste like shit. Orange juice doesn't taste great sometimes on its own with beer probably not the best option either man i don't even like those fucking what are they called mimosas where it's like champagne and orange juice i'm not even down with that so i don't know it's just too 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 different of a taste on the palate of the mouth let's keep it rolling <laughs> flames fan 6634 Favorite fast food chain and least favorite. Least favorite, McDonald's. Every time I eat it, I feel like I'm going to fucking die after. Uh, that was that one was easy. Uh, psh, favorite one is probably going to be Harvey's. Hey, focus. Thank you. Uh, the uh, favorite one is probably going to be Harvey's. Just because it's pretty much just, you can see your burger right there. You can tell them like what you want on it. And they got tzatziki. I love my tzatziki's. Throw that up on a burger. Psst. It's a game changer. Little Jenny Wren. Are we leaving our kids a better world or will they be the ones who make it better? Okay. Now this is the reason I'm actually filming this episode earlier today because I was having a lot of thoughts about this one. And I knew if I didn't record this early, I'd spoil them by like posting them or whatever. So let's get into this. If we look back at our parents' generation, we have a better world than they did. Like, things keep getting better. People, like, a lot of people don't like to see that. They think we live in this fucking crazy negative world and everything. But we really don't. It's just a lot of people focus on that shit. Like, this world is fucking... Like, nowadays, honestly, there's new discoveries every day. There's new animals being found pretty much every fucking day. Like, there's there's knowledge at, at our fingertips whenever you want throughout the day. You can look something up and learn something. You don't have to, like, go across the town to fucking go to a library. You don't have to worry about getting, like, killed or fucking beat up and dragged behind horses or whatever because you're black or you're a different color. Like, we, like, we have such a great fucking world right now. Like, things just keep getting better. Honestly, like, I, like things are better since the 80s. If you had AIDS in the 80s, no one was going to give you a fucking high five or a fist bump half the time. Like... We live in a better world than there was when our parents were growing up, when our grandparents were growing up. You know what I mean? So, like, we if I die today, I know my kids are going to be okay. I know that they live in a world where they can continue to obtain as much knowledge as they want. If they want to be creative and chase that as, a, like, a passion in life, they can do that. You know what I mean? Like, this world is a better place. Like, sure, there's some negative shit, but, like, that's the balance of life. You can't have positive without negative. Like, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, yeah, like, this past election, like, Donald Trump getting elected, it's got a lot of people scared. It's got a lot of people angry or whatever. Like, fill in the blank, you know what I mean? But what about all the other really, like, 
crazy stuff that's going on in the world. Like, there was just a new fucking aquatic animal found that has 13 legs, and its head, like, blows up like a balloon, and it combs the sand. And in that little balloon head, it has teeth and everything. Like, that was found, I think, on the election, like, on election day. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody gives a fuck about that because the negativity and, like, whatever else, like, that's what gets your attention because it strikes an emotional response. But, like, we live in a crazy, beautiful, better world than what once was. I, like, I don't know. It's just, if I die today, I know my kids are in a better world than... 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Do I believe that it's going to be better in a, in for the next generations? I honestly do. Because the other thing that's happening like in present times is so many other things that were like deemed like evil for lack of a better term. There it's it's widely accepted. People just don't care. They're like whatever, like this isn't as bad as, like, the government or whoever else wanted to make this, like, us think. Make it legal. Who cares? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many, like, different, like, I don't want to say revolutions or awakenings, but I, I can't think of a better, like, better terms for it. Because people are, are waking up. They're realizing that certain things are just, like, stupid or there's no logic behind it. Or there, there's more important things that we need to think about. I don't know. It's also one of those things like we don't live in a time that, you know, if you got an infection in your leg, they're just going to hack that bitch off. Like we uh, medicine is advanced nowadays. Like technology, science, art. Just, there's so many beautiful great things about this world. And I honestly believe, like, we are living in some of the best times right now because, like, there's so much knowledge we can get right right away. We can just go and learn as much as we want about anything we want. We understand how many, like, different cultures there are now in the world. We know that there's different tribes that, like, are still in the Amazon living the way they have for thousands of years like this is this is such a crazy like puzzle that we live in and it's so fu it's so beautiful people just got to remember like we can't focus on the negative that's when we start making a negative world for our kids and for the future generations if we all if all of us let the negativity and the darkness of the world just consume us then that's when everything really does start to change like being like in a positive mind state is kind of like I don't want to say like a popular trend but it is a lot of people this is what they want like this is what they want for themselves and for others around them if we switch that to a negative mindset then that's going to infect everybody way like way more w one negative comment is so much more powerful than like a group of positive comments to some people like the positive, the negative is so easy to just get consumed by and let it drag you down and affect everything. And you forget like about all these crazy adventures that you can just take out of uh, whenever you want. And it, you know, it's just, if we promote a negative mindset and we promote a negative behavior, then that's, that's what our, our kids are going to deal with. That's what the future generations are going to deal with. But if we continue with like the positive mindset and we continue accepting things that were never wrong and they were they shouldn't have been deemed wrong for anybody. Like if we keep having these like awakenings and little uh, like mini revolutions among the people, this world will continue to be beautiful. Knowledge will continue to grow and just like this world is such a beautiful adventure to take and I, I think our kids are living in this beautiful adventure. We, they, they have a treasure chest sitting in their lap. And all they have to do is open the lid. 
They can go on an, ad some, an adventure into a beautiful forest if they want. They can learn about space and underwater creatures. Like, they can throw on Netflix and learn about, like, all these, like, deep ocean... Th just... There's so much that this world is a better world than we've had. This world is a better world than what our grandparents had. As long as we all remember how beautiful and like intricate this puzzle really is, and we remember like how many positive things we have in our hands, then I think we're going to be okay. And I think we are okay. Negative is there to balance us out. Just got to let it, like, kind of let it balance, but don't let it consume. Don't let it overweigh, I guess. Remember, like, just all the knowledge and everything. Like, like, I just ranted about for, like, fucking ten minutes. I don't know. Just remember how many beautiful things there are. Actually, little Jenny Wren tweeted out a clip from the last speech of The Great Dictator, a Charlie Chaplin film. And it's, it, it makes sense. It, it's so fitting for nowadays. And he says exactly kind of what I was saying in a way. Make this life a wonderful adventure. I've said that to you guys for so long now. Make every day an adventure. And that's what we got to do. I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. You can hit me up on all social media, except Facebook and LinkedIn and all, I guess, a couple other ones. But Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope, you can. At Juvie the Kid, J U V Y T H A K I D. All my quiet kids, my freaks, and my weirdos, keep being weird.